We were able to win school board victories all across the state of Florida. Governor DeSantis celebrating a successful day at the polls. Parents are sick of the nonsense when it comes to education. His biggest victory may have come in a series of school board races. The governor endorsed 30 candidates across the state and 25 of them won. Governor DeSantis realizes how important education is. The governor's impact might have been felt the most in Sarasota County schools. DeSantis backed three candidates and all three won, including Bridget Ziegler and Robin Marinelli. Him coming and endorsing us made the community aware, uh, aware of what was at stake. I think that with Governor DeSantis shined a light on, on the school boards, you know, the, the reality is, is that you have people across the country and in the state who are engaged and aware that were fed up. The victories in Sarasota shifted the political structure of the board, which will now lean Republican. I think it sends a very clear message that our community was tired of what was going on. But critics say the governor should leave partisan politics out of the schools. Damaris Allen lost her race in Hillsboro to DeSantis-backed incumbent Stacey Hahn. She's concerned that candidates had to fill out a survey before receiving a DeSantis endorsement to ensure they agreed with his education agenda. His endorsement comes with strings attached. So basically anyone who gets his endorsement has to sign on and say, I will I will uphold your education ed agenda. Politics aside, these candidates say they're ready to put their focus back where it belongs. That was Aaron Mesmer reporting. Governor DeSantis says he's the first to endorse local school board races and believes other governors will do the same.